Can a team full of my favorite players go on and win a Stanley Cup together in NHL 24? That is right, I have constructed a roster full of my favorite players past and present, and we are going to be simulating five full seasons to see if they can go on and win a Stanley Cup here in NHL 24. Now, obviously, with the team of Connors, we did not get that job done, but this team is really, really goddamn good, so I don't think we'll have an issue finding success here in the simulation. If I'm being honest, we probably should win multiple Stanley Cups throughout this video, but regardless, well, I think it's time to go ahead and take a look at the entire roster of my favorite players in the entire NHL. Also, you guys know the deal. Rate the drip 1 to 10 in the comments below. I think these jerseys are very, very clean. Maybe a new addition to the PHL. Who knows? So as we take a look at the lines here, you guys can already tell this team is absolutely loaded. We got Gretzky, McDavid, and Yager on that first line. Nathan McKinnon alongside his idol in Sidney Crosby. And then I threw Ovi on the wing. Only an 87 overall, but Ovi's an absolute legend of the game. We also have Jack Hughes alongside Drysettle and Patty Kane. And then Stammer, Tage Thompson, and Mr. Hockey, Gordie Howe at a 95 overall. That is the forward core of this team. Now, defensively, we are stacked as well with Miro Heiskanen and Kale McCarr as our top pair. We also have Evan Bouchard along Jacob Slavin. And then finally, Roman Yossi with Eric Carlson. My first love as a defenseman. I mean, I loved Eric Carlson 10, 12 years ago in like 2011, 2012. This dude was probably my favorite player in the entire league before Connor McDavid joined in. Obviously, he's older than Neil. Had a great season last year, 33 years old at the tail end of his career. And then my favorite goalie in NHL history, Bobby Lou. Roberto Luongo, only a 91 overall, but I turned auto rotate goalies off, so Vassy should not have to play a single game. And we are going to run with Bobby Lou for the entire duration of this simulation. And hopefully we can go on and win him a Stanley Cup for the first time in his career and have a lot of success here in the game. Now, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you get notified when I go live or post a video. And now it is time to go ahead and simulate five full years with my favorite team of players. Put it in the comments below. How many Stanley Cups do you think we will win? Two, three, five, one, none. What is the option? Honestly, I'm going to go with four Stanley Cups. I think one season. We might actually not end up winning, but I think we'll win outside of that. Now, at the end of our very first season, we will set a record for the most wins in a single season. 71 wins, nine losses, two in overtime. This team was absolutely dominant. 144 points. I mean, it can't get any better than that. We are basically... The 2016 Golden State Warriors from the NBA. Colorado also was up there in wins with 51, but that is 20 more wins, or actually 20 less wins than we had on the season. Florida had 51, about to complete the greatest choke job in NHL history. Dallas had 50, Carolina 48. Edmonton, obviously, we're up there. Absolutely zero quit in the squad. A great one, Wayne Gretzky will lead our team in scoring. 113 points, had 33 goals. Yager had 98 and 37 goals. McDavid actually led our team in goal scoring, 45 and only 92 points playing alongside Wayne. McCarr had 87, Dry settled 78, also a big goal season from him too. Crosby put up great numbers, 64 points. Now chipped in as well as Jack Hughes, and if we take a look at Bobby Lou, baby, 70 wins, 9 losses, 5 shutouts. And playing the entire season, he's going to rock a 921 save percentage. I mean, Bobby Lou is back, and he's in full effect, baby. Now, Gretzky is going to go ahead and lead everybody in scoring with 113 points. Matthews had 109. We know he simulates very well in this game. Yager had 98. Nathan McKinnon was up there. Miko Rantanen put up 94 points. Pasternak, 93. Connor McDavid, 92. Also 45 goals, and speaking of goals, Matthews will take the lead with 68 on the season. Followed by Miko Rantanen, who had 59, Pasternak's 46, McKinnon had 45. Jason Robertson was up there, he always sims pretty well in this game. Patrick Fortnite line, a 42 goals, 75 points. A pretty good season from the guy who's requesting a trade in real life. If we take a look at the goalies here, Roberto Luongo, easily the most wins. I mean, 70 will never be touched in NHL history. And if we take a look at the shutouts, it will go to Sergei Bobrovsky, who's absolutely shitting the bed in the finals as the Oilers look to become the second team to ever come back down 0-3 in the playoffs or the Stanley Cup Finals. Bobby Lou was up there. Everybody everybody else was tied with five shutouts apiece, like seven or eight goalies here. 
And he also had the highest save percentage at a 921 out of any starter outside of Ilya Sorokin. But I mean, Bobby Lou played 82 games, Sorokin only 67. And here we go. This is our year number one playoff bracket. We are going to be facing the defensive New York Islanders in round number one. We should absolutely cruise to the finals. And hopefully grab our first Stanley Cup of this entire video. Now, predictably, we would sweep the Islanders around number one. And now we face the other team in New York, which is the Rangers, who won in six games in their first round matchup. So hopefully we can do the same to the Rangers. I mean, we technically should. We are a by far superior team than anybody else in this league. Shout out to the Rangers for actually winning a hockey game. Our only loss of the postseason so far. We dealt with them in five games. And now in the conference finals, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs who actually are on a roll themselves, eight and two in the postseason so far, so it could be maybe a tougher series. Now, predictably, we would dominate Toronto in five games in the conference finals, and now we move on to face the Edmonton Oilers in the finals. They're in there in real life, just forced a game seven last night, so I am on absolute cloud nine, but in this game, unfortunately, the Idaho favorite players, Utah, Idaho, are going to have to go on and dominate Edmonton and take home their very first Stanley Cup of this video. And in year number one, the team of my favorite players will cruise on to a Stanley Cup, 71 wins in the regular season, almost sweeping every series in the postseason. As we did beat the Oilers in four games, there will be no comeback for the Oilers in this finals compared to real life where the florida panthers are in fact choking right now but regardless we do go on and finally win a stanley cup we didn't get it done with the team of connors but luckily my team of favorite players will do it and bobby lou con Smythe winner 929 save percentage a 195 gaa there's nobody else i would rather see win the goddamn con Smythe. he would have got it in 2011 if it wasn't for those goddamn Sedin sisters who do not show up in the postseason, he would have had a Stanley Cup and a Conn Spite. But unfortunately, that is not the way the cookie crumbles. There it is. The Stanley Cup is in the building, and it is being presented to Connor McDavid. Come on up, brother. Winning your very first Stanley Cup in your entire career as the Texas-Idaho Steelheads go all the way, winning the Stanley Cup in season number one. But we are not done yet. We have four more years to go, baby. Now in the postseason, Gretzky will lead our team. Eight goals, 19 points. McDavid had 18. Jack Hughes, 17. And Steven Stamko, 16. And we know that Bobby Lou was absolutely lights out. 16 wins, two overtime losses, not a single loss in regulation. And he also had two shutouts. With a 931 save percentage, not even a 929 that it said at the Conn Smythe presentation. What is going on, EA Sports? Why are your statistics inaccurate? And there it is. The Texas favorite players go all the way, win the Stanley Cup in year number one, and hopefully now have a five-peat. Gretzky will take home the Ted Lindsay, our Ross and Hart Trophy, Matthews, the Maurice Richard, the Norris will go to Kale McCarr, obviously Bobby Lou, the Conn Smythe, the Vesna also to Roberto Luongo. And Alexander Barkov will take home the Selkie Trophy. Now, as we simulate yet again, I am hoping for five straight Stanley Cups. I know I said four at the beginning of the video, and that is my official prediction, but I do believe we have the talent. But I mean, I've seen the simulation way too many times to know that there's going to be at least one season where we mess up and do not win the Stanley Cup. It is EA Sports at the end of the day. In the second season, we would kind of take a slight step back, only winning 61 games, losing 18 and 3 in overtime for 125 points. So that is what I mean. We had a way worse record this year than we did last season, so it's probably that trend will only continue. But I mean, we were the best team in the entire NHL, followed by the Carolina Hurricanes, the Winnipeg Jets, and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Also, shout out to my Edmonton Oilers. I love that squad. Connor McDavid is going to absolutely destroy the league this season. 58 goals, 119 points, leading our team in both categories. Gretzky had 97 points. Yager, 94. That is our first line, so I expected them to be big in the points. McCarr only at 69, Howe 66, Drysaddle 60, McKinnon 54, and if we take a look at Bobby Lou, actually it was Andre Vasilevsky playing most of the season, 50 wins, a 933 save percentage, and 16 shutouts on the season? Holy hell, Vassy, why did Vassy play the entire season? I have auto-rotate goalies strictly off, but for some reason I guess Bobby Lou took a backseat this season. He wasn't even good in the 21 games that he did play. McDavid will end up having the most points in the entire NHL at 119, followed by Matthews, who had 110. 
McDavid, the other McDavid had 108, Stammer 104, Dry Settle was up there, Nylander had a very good season, as well as Mitchell Marner, who, fun fact, leads the big three in Toronto for playoff scoring in their entire careers. He is 50, I believe Nylander has like 42, and Matthews 41, something like that. Matthews and Nylander are both in the 40s, and Mitch Marner has 50 in his career, so... The Mitch Marner slander, it is fair. Maybe it's not fair. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. Don't really care, honestly. Toronto sucks. They're gone in April every single year. Now, if we take a look at goals, Matthews will lead with 63 on the season. McDavid had 58. Kyle Connor, 56. And that is going to do it for the 50 goal scorers. Connor McDavid at 46. Braden Point, 46. Pasternak was up there. And for goalies, I believe Vassie is going to have the most wins at 50. He did. Followed by Hellebuck and Freddie Anderson. And then for shutouts, also 16. I mean, how are you going to beat that? I've never actually, I lied. I have seen a goalie put up 16 in a season, but it's very tough to do so. And now we are going to play the Detroit Red Wings in round number one of the postseason in our second ever playoff run in our franchise's history. So hopefully we can repeat as champions and go back to back. And this is exactly what I mean. Somehow the goddamn Red Wings who did not even make the playoffs in real life are going to dominate us in five games in the first round. You know what? I'm going to chalk it up to Andre Vasilevsky being our starting goalie and not my favorite goalie, which is Roberto Luongo. So I guess no back-to-back -back Stanley Cubs. And my prediction of only winning one now seems way more likely than it did before this season. I told you guys, EA Sports has a very funny way of working. Shout out to the Dallas Stars going all the way and getting the job done, beating Carolina in six games in the finals to grab their second Stanley Cup in franchise history. Obviously, we lost in round number one which is like beyond embarrassing for the roster that we have. Wayne Gretzky and Yarmir Yager were really our only good players in the first round. Two goals, five points for Gretzky, five points for Yager. Only one goal, though. McDavid had four, Jack Hughes four, Nathan McKinnon only two. And if we take a look at Andre Vasilevsky, yeah, I mean, an 870 save percentage is wild for a 94 overall goaltender. I, I feel like goalie stats don't even matter in this game. They have zero effect on the simulation, I swear to God. Connor McDavid is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. The Maurice Richard will go to Matthews, the Norris, the Kale McCarr, Connor Bedard, the Calder. Jason Robertson will pick up the Conn Smythe. Vassy is somehow going to win the Vesna. He did have a very good regular season playoffs, not so much. So he will win the Vesna, and the Selkie will go to, again, Sasha Barkov of the Florida Panthers. Now, at the end of year number three, we are going to finish with a record of 62, 16, and 4, 128 points at the top of our division and the entire NHL, followed by the Colorado Avalanche, who actually won 57 games. So they were pretty damn close to us. Dallas had 53, New York was up there, Toronto and Boston. At the bottom, just for curiosity's sake, the Montreal Canadiens were the worst team, winning 30 games on the season, only 70 points. Now, offensively, we didn't have a great season. McDavid, our leading scorer, did have 48 goals, but only 84 points. Gretzky had 84, Jack Hughes 83, Dreisaitl 81, Yager had 76, Makar 74, and if we take a look at Bobby Lou, 61 wins, a 9-12 save percentage. And he also put up 10 shutouts on the season. He should comfortably win the Vesna Trophy this year. If he does not, then I mean EA Sports is rigged. The NHL is rigged. Fire Gary Bedman. I mean, fire him anyways. Get him the hell out of here. We need a Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup. Now, the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid, will lead everybody in scoring with 109 points. Following Matthews, who had 105. Makar, 97. Kachuk was up there. Mitch Marner had a good year, as well as Leon Dreisettle. And Johnny Hockey, 23 goals, 67 apples for 90 points on the season. If we take a look at the goal side, Matthews will lead with 59. David was behind him with 48. Kachuk had 44. Pasternak, 42. Leon Dreisettle, 42. And Fortnite Line A had 41. Also, shout out Kempe putting up 41 on the season. Also, I believe that would be a career high for Adrian Kempe. He actually had 41 last season, too. Literally the same exact stat line that he had in real life. Shout out to EA Sports, man. Obviously, Roberto Luongo will have the most wins at 61 and also the most shutouts at 10. So he pretty much clinched the Vesna trophy as he is the best goaltender in the entire world right now, as we are going to end up playing the Florida Panthers in round number one. Honestly, a pretty tough matchup to draw in the first round, but I think we should be able to get it done, although we did lose to Detroit last season, which was pretty embarrassing. Let's see if we can go on and get back to the Stanley Cup Finals. We would end up sweeping the Florida Panthers, which is how we should be playing in the first round, and now we have the Columbus Blue Jackets in round number two. 
Now, honestly, this series should not even be remotely close because it's EA Sports. I say a Game 7 win for our team. Now, luckily, I was wrong. We beat them in five games, and now we have the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Conference Finals for four wins, four victories away from making it back to the Stanley Cup Finals. And the Texas favorite players are back in the Stanley Cup Finals for the second time in three seasons. We got to face the Nashville Predators this go around, which, I mean, we do have the far superior team. So let's see if we can go on and win our second Stanley Cup of the video. And the Idaho Utaho Steelheads go on and win their second Stanley Cup of the video, dominating Nashville in five games in the finals. And at least this time we get to raise the Stanley Cup on home ice here in Idaho as backbone Bobby Lou put up an amazing performance in the playoffs as we are going to go on and win our second Stanley Cup as we should Nathan McKinnon is going to take home the con Smythe he had 10 goals and 27 points absolutely lights out during the postseason and I mean this con Smythe trophy is definitely well deserved he didn't get it with Colorado as Makar was the better player in that run but luckily now he's got his con Smythe here in Idaho and there it is the Stanley Cup about to be raised to a team full of my favorite players can we see Connor McDavid again we will Captain McDavid coming to lift the Stanley Cup hopefully I am manifesting this for Monday night as McDavid will lift it for the second time in his career as we have gone all the way here in season number three Now, obviously, Nathan McKinnon was the Conn Smythe winner. He was dynamite. I mean, 10 goals, 27 points. McDavid had 13 goals, 24 points. Gretzky was up there with 20. Crosby had 19. Jack Hughes had 18. Very impressive stats by him. And Bobby Lou, only a 914 save percentage, so maybe he wasn't the greatest, but I mean, he went 16, 2, and 1. I cannot really complain about his effort. The Oilers, McDavid will win the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Matthews, the Maurice Richard, the Norris, the Kale McCarr, Mac Daddy, the Con Smythe. Bobby Lou will take home the Vesna, and the Selkie Trophy will go to Alexander Barkov. Probably every season of the video, to be honest. Now, after winning our second Stanley Cup, we are going to roll the regular season 67, 10, and 5, 139 points. Obviously, the best team in the entire league. Followed by the Rangers, who had 52 wins, Dallas 51, Winnipeg surprisingly was up there, as well as the New York Islanders. Connor McDavid, another great season, 53 goals, 100 points, Yager had 18 and 32 goals. Gretzky was up there with 79, Makar 76, Drysettle had 69, also 34 goals, which I believe was second best on our team. So shout out to the big German Leon, Gordie Howe going to put up points as well as Jack Hughes. And for our goalies, Roberto Luongo did not play the entire season again. I forgot to change the auto-rotate goalies. Why do I keep forgetting this? Vassi, 913 save percentage, 49 wins, and Bobby Lou had a 917. Austin Matthews is going to break out this season, leading in goals with 76 and points with 109. Absolutely lights out season. Pasternak had 104. McDavid and Marner were up there with 100. Tage Thompson had 95. Nylander, 94. And now on the goals, obviously, we know Matthews led, but Pasternak came in second with 54. David had 53. Ranton in 51. Jason Robertson, a big drop off to 43. The big guns definitely were showing this year. I mean, Matthews, I don't know why he sims so good in this game. He's only, what, a 95 overall, but he sims like a 99. I guess his shooting tendencies and his shooting stats really bump him up in the sim. I mean, he's shooting the puck 413 times, so he's bound to score a few goals here and there. Now, for goalies, Vassie will lead in wins of 49, followed by Ottinger's 47, and Hellebuck, who had 44. And on the shutout side, Connor Hellebuck. Will lead with eight on the season. Kemper had seven. Darcy Kemper put up seven shutouts on goddamn Washington. As we are going to play the Washington Capitals in round number one. No surprise here as we swept the Capitals in round number one. And now we face the New York Rangers in the second round. We also got through them in four games. And now the Carolina Hurricanes in the conference finals. Can we sweep the entire Eastern Conference and go on to the Stanley Cup Finals? That would be definitely one of the most impressive feats ever in NHL history. And of course, we got the job done, sweeping our way to the Stanley Cup Finals. And now in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have to face the St. Louis Blues, who we should absolutely dismantle. So let's see if we can go on and do that. If we don't, that would be a very, very disappointing defeat. Now, unfortunately, we did not go 16-0 in the postseason. St. Louis actually somehow stole a game against us in the finals. That would have been the greatest playoff run in NHL history. But unfortunately, it still probably actually is the greatest playoff run. Only one loss in the entire postseason came in the Stanley Cup Finals. 
as we dominated St. Louis in five games to go on and capture our third Stanley Cup of the video. As my prediction becomes more and more realistic as the years go on, Andre Vasilevsky, Conn Smythe winner, a 931 save percentage, 16 wins, 175 GAA. He was absolutely lights out for us in the postseason. And there it is, the Stanley Cup again for the third time in the video is about to be raised to your Stanley Cup champions here in Texas, Idaho. As here comes McDavid yet again, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the third time in his career, third time in the video as we have one more season to go. Can the Texas favorite players go on and win four Stanley Cups through the duration of this video? Or are we gonna absolutely choke in the final season and only finish with three and not let my prediction come to life? I honestly have no idea, but we are definitely gonna be finding that out. Now in the postseason, Yarmer Yager led our team in goals with 10 and points with 20. McDavid also had 20, McKinnon 18, Makar had 16, Gordy Howe had 15. As Austin Matthews will take home all the major individual awards, Makar will win the Norris, the Conn Smythe did go to Vasi, the Vezna will go to Ilya Sorokin instead of Vasilevsky, as the Selkie Trophy will head to Austin Matthews. Now at the end of the fifth and final season, we are going to finish with a record of 60, 14, and 8, 128 points, dominating the NHL as we always do. Considering we have been the best team winning three Stanley Cups out of the last four seasons, Florida won 57 games. The Winnipeg Jets won 58. That is crazy. Tampa Bay had 49. Edmonton was up there as well as the Rangers. Connor McDavid, again, a great season. 53 goals, 100 points. Gretzky had 89. Yager, 83. And McKinnon, 78. And we take a look at Bobby Lou. Played all 82 games, 60, 14, and 8. 10 shutouts and a 906 save percentage. But that is probably because... He played literally 82 games, which goaltenders do not do, especially in this era. Kirill Kaprizov is going to lead the entire NHL in goals with 59 and points with 105. Shout out to Kirill the Thrill. Actually, scratch that. I'm not calling him that. It's Phil the Thrill. We're not just giving Phil Kessel's nickname to Kirill Kaprizov. We are not doing that. And now in the first round of the playoffs, my favorite team of players will have to face the Carolina Hurricanes in round number one. We dealt with the Hurricanes in five games after losing game number one in overtime, six to five. We rallied off four straight. And again, in round number two, we faced the New York Rangers, who we absolutely dominated in five games also. And now the Florida Panthers, who did win 58 games in the regular season. So maybe we do have a tough matchup on our hands here. And the Panthers will beat us in game seven on of overtime three to two in the conference finals as my prediction was false we only ended up winning three cups throughout the entire video there is no way we lost one nothing eight four two one in overtime i mean i guess the good news is that florida did go on and beat colorado in six games in the stanley cup finals but i mean that should have been us dude there is no reason for us to lose that series in seven to the Florida Panthers, but we did. Shout out EA Sports for their amazing sim engine. Connor McDavo will take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy. The Art Ross and Maurice Richard will go to Kaprizov. Kale McCarr, the Norris. Matthew Nyes is going to win the Calder. Barkoff, the Con Smythe. Roberto Luongo will win the Vesna, and the Selkie will go to Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers. And that will do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave some support on it. Ultimately, my prediction of four Stanley Cups in five seasons was wrong. We only got three, but at the end of the day, three Stanley Cups is still three Stanley Cups. We were very successful in the President's Trophy winning team pretty much every single season. And I mean, why wouldn't we? I have the best surrounding players. Also, my favorite players of all time. I actually forgot one of them. Nick Lidstrom did not make the cut. I should have added him to my roster. I just completely forgot that he was even in the game. Regardless, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.